Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, my name is Johnny and welcome to JNM Productions. So yes, you guys are just about to watch the uh, Maki Mark 8 scooter, but I want to go over some stuff really quick. Um, you might notice a couple minutes into the video, uh, uh, camera and audio might be different. That's because I'm finally using a real uh, camera for our channel. I bought this about two weeks ago and it's been awesome. Shut up, microwave. The camera is awesome. It's really good. And I know you may say, oh, what's wrong with the phone? Uh, the phone is great, but the problem is it doesn't import properly anymore. Basically, you know, you plug it into the computer. I can't, it doesn't work anymore. I don't know why. I've been having this problem for a couple weeks now. So that's why video has been kind of slim because I can't make anything. <laughs> anything that I've made, I couldn't import it. So now that I have this camera, I'm finally able to make videos properly. The only thing I'm worried of is that this microphone doesn't work, of course, my luck. But actually the audio for the camera itself is great. It's almost as good as the iPhone 8. So if you notice that little difference in the video, that's just why. But also guys, I'm only human, please don't you know, say in the comments, me and my camera skills. While I am good with phone skills, camera skills, I'm still learning. But that should be it, guys. Um, this is a small review of the scooter. I know I said I was gonna do a three part to this scooter, but I'm just deciding to do little bits instead, just so I can get videos out for you guys for the scooter. Um, I'll have some more driving ones soon. Just right now, I have to be careful because of the coronavirus and just um, there's a lot of police activity going on so I'm just playing it safe for myself and everyone else you know just taking my car to work and everything besides the scooter but alright guys this is gonna be it enjoy the review and see you guys later so here she is in all of her former glory the Maki Mark 8 scooter um, as you can tell, I've done some slight modifications to it. Uh, you know, nothing crazy. Um, obviously, the scooters like these, um, they don't come with the mirrors they do. They're a little dirty, actually, too. Um, but I got that. Uh, phone holder, you know, classic. You kind of need that. Uh, something that everybody should have is a wild man pouch. Um, these are all over Amazon. Uh, this is the 2L, if I'm correct. Um, but uh, for the next scooter I'm getting, or the two of them actually, I am getting a 3L. Um, but you, in my recommendation, you should always carry a Allen key, uh, kit with you. And I'll actually go over why I personally have it with the Mark 8. Um, just like with all these scooters, very easy to start up. So obviously you put your key and the key ignition on the right hand side. Uh, some of them are on the left hand side too, I've noticed. Then next you turn it. Now, unlike the um, KK10S, uh, this would have uh, lit up and would tell you your uh, battery power. Uh, for my scooter, it's 67. That's the um, max for like 67.7, it's something like that. And then with the key ignition on, hit the power button for a second, and boom, all set to go. Now, for me to see my power level, I just need to click the mode button several times. So, one, two, and there we go. 67.8, that's pretty much a full charge. And for the lights, you go ahead and flick the switch up, and boom. Now, uh, according to Maki, this scooter is in between the KK4S and the KK10S. So, with the lighting, the angel eye lights and the upper um, LED lights the same, but the deck is different. Uh, the KK4S and the KK10S have like, you know, the different lighting and everything. Uh, this one is just kind of a, I wouldn't say purple, more of like a really light blue. But at least the deck is still lit up. Um, you also have your backlights, and uh, since this is in between the KK4S and the KK10S, this one does include turn signals. So you got left, you got right, and of course, your brake light. So, for additional lighting, I also added this um, special L-wire. These are all, once again, all over Amazon. So, 
Takes two AA batteries. I have it zip tied to the mount. So anyways, you press it and that turns on too. Now, if this, if it were darker outside, this would be a lot better to show, but I have it zip tied in specific areas to make sure it doesn't get caught up in the wheels, like right there, too alongside the brake lights. So it's in a really good spot and it really helps with lighting at night. There's some other modes too, like <laughs> if I wanted to look like a dance party, but not really necessary for any of that. But overall, I'm really impressed with it. Um, it even has a really nice handlebar here. I know some people put their foot here, but I've just, the board's plenty enough for my two big feet. So the handlebar is perfect for lifting it up and actually putting it on this table here whenever I need to work on it. Now with the scooter like this, um, it really goes to show how much power this thing has. Um, it is actually quite ridiculous how much power this thing really has. Uh, probably the most asked thing that people will say is, what's the top speed? Well, it really depends. It really depends on your weight. If you're going on like just a average road, you know, it's in the middle, you know, not uphill, downhill. Uh, my top speed personally is 40 to 42 miles per hour. In one of my previous videos, I did go 42. Uh, I was on uh, Route 38. That's a pretty smooth road for us here in St. Charles. But, uh, you know, that's the top speed I'm going to get. Now, I do say I could go a little faster just because, um, ain't going to lie, I am personally a little overweight. So there's probably an issue with that. But um, also, you know, I took off the seat. So that increased my speed a little bit. Uh, Oh, oh, oh shit, that scared the living hell out of me. This is the seat. Uh, trying my best to show it here. Uh, I had to do some little modification to make it work. I also put a light there in the back uh, just for additional lighting. Uh, I was using that for my turn signals because those were a bit better than the ones uh, Maki has. Because while they work, they're a little small. And I mean like really small. Like I know in person or on camera they may look big, but they're not. So I think to a car, that's that's nothing. So in general, I don't really use them just cause if nobody's gonna see them, what's really the point? Um, but with that, going back to the speed and stuff, uh, going downhill, I've hit 47. That's, that's pretty fast. I'm just saying on the scooter. Um, but you know, I very rarely even go that even when I go downhill just because I don't need to go that fast Like I really don't need that type of speed. Don't get me wrong I'm getting a torso or EA pro that t claim that can go up to 51 on a downhill But again, I really don't need that in general like 24 7 most of these roads around here are 30 to 35. Some of them are 40, 45, but I generally stay on the 30, 35 ones. So most of the time I'm not even using this thing to it at its full potential every time. Uh, as for mileage, again, it really depends. Maki claims you can do 60 miles. And for me, I've personally have hit about 25 to 30, but that's just cause I never run out of battery. I have not once ran out of battery. Have I gotten close? Yes, but even with that, I was still hitting top speeds of 30, 33 miles per hour, which is crazy for a battery almost dead. So again, 25, 30 miles, but that's because I was in mode three and dual motors. So that's quite a bit for, for the scooter. That's a lot of power it's taking, you know, but I always stay in that mode because that's the most comfortable mode I'm in. And I, that's the one I've been getting used to uh, ever since I got the scooter. So really can't say much about that. With the buttons here at the bottom, uh, you got two different ones. You got Eco and Turbo and Single and Dual. Basically, the way this works is now we are in... Uh, let's see where are we at. Okay, so outwards is single so you're just one motor you know 
That's it. Uh, one motor with turbo on. Because Eco and Turbo controls the torque. So if you're in single mode with turbo, you're looking at about, at least for me, 30 to 33 miles per hour. That's what I've been able to hit averagely. Maybe on a slight downhill, 35, but you know, not a whole lot. Uh, now, if I press the red button inwards, now we're in dual. So we got dual turbo. That is some scary torque, my friends. That is where you're going to have to really hang on to the handlebars when you take off. Um, almost 95% of the time, the front tire does a little burnout <laughs> every single time I accelerate. So, you know, nothing much I can do there. Now, if I press the turbo button in, now we're in eco mode. This is where your torque is going to be um, significantly uh, cut back. And it's going to be more of a smoother, enjoyable ride. I actually plan on using Eco more when I start taking these things on bike paths, when I get the other scooters, so me and my buddies can start cruising around on them. But other than that, that's really I use Eco for, or sometimes I use it on my first takeoff just so that I can get the hang of the scooter for a second. Then once I'm ready to go, you know, turbo, we're off. Now, as great of a scooter as this is, I have two complaints at the moment with this thing. The first complaint, and I'm going to try and show it here if I can. Probably not, but just to give you an idea. Or actually, there you go. This scooter has a tendency to have the stem wobble a little bit. Now, I know in most Maki scooters, this is common. And in fact, extremely common, because it's not only on this scooter, but it's on the torso as well. But it happens to a lot of these scooters, and I know how to fix it, but I'm not quite ready yet to do it. Uh, I'm a, I, I need just a couple more tools just to make myself a little more confident. Because the hand ones work, but I need like an actual drill and stuff. So once I get that, uh, maybe I'll show a video on how to do it. But uh, right now it's doing the wobbly thing. Most of the time I don't notice it. The only time I really notice it is when I take off. But that's to be expected because, you know, when you're going at mode 3, you know, you're yanked back and almost snap your neck. But So that's the one time I definitely feel it. But once I'm driving at a constant speed, it, it doesn't do it anymore. So that's a good thing. But still it's something I want to eliminate from this scooter. And I'll have to eliminate from the other scooters as well. Uh, my second complaint with this scooter actually has to do with this part here. Now, like I mentioned, the handlebar for lifting it, awesome. However, the bolts that hold this thing in are absolute garbage. I'm not sure if it's showing it that one, but whatever. There's two there, and there's two here. I, vent I really need to get Loctite on these, but to uh, any normal person that just thinks, oh, it's fine... It's not. This thing, after even just a mile of driving, will start to move up and down, and these bolts will start coming out on their own. Now, looking at it from behind, if I can even show it. Ah, yeah, you can't really see it. Whatever. But they're not really hanging on to anything. They're just screwed in and calling it a day. So, I'm really going to need to try to eliminate that as soon as possible. Just because every time I drive, I have to tighten it, which is why I have my toolkit inside the Wildman pouch. And that'll be for the other scooters, too. I mean, I don't think I'll need to for the torso, but it, just to be on the safe side. Because that's the one neat thing with this scooter is that all of them take Allen screws, which is awesome because the kit I have fits all of these. And actually, these four are where the seat goes right there so that kind of just about does it um i really don't think there we go i really don't think there's much else to talk about really you know i want to show more footage of me driving but you know I'm, like i said i'm taking it easy with everything that's going on but all in all this is an awesome scooter and i seriously recommend it you know um for a link, uh, just look up Alibaba Maki scooters. Make sure it's the right company. You know, Maki or Xiaozain, whatever, however you want to say it. I don't know. But Maki is the main part of it. 
They got, you know, the Mark 8, KK-10S, KK-4S. The most popular one is the 4S, but again, you're not going to get as much power as the Mark 8 or the KK-10S. But still, I'm satisfied with it. I highly recommend it. Uh, more videos are going to come. Um, as for the two other scooters coming, uh, I have to pray that they make it through customs. Uh, Noah's is expected to arrive today at customs. Um, but again, because of the coronavirus, uh, everything's backed up. And customs is very strict with what comes through. So I really hope they think a scooter is essential. <laughs> I really hope they do. But again, just gotta wait and see because they're being picked up by FedEx and FedEx said they're still delivering packages. So it's like as long as it gets through, I'm fine. I'm gonna get both of them no problem. Uh, so yeah, so Noah's, which is the exact same scooter as this one, hopefully I'll get it at my house within a week or two. I can't guarantee it though because of what's going on. And as for the Torso, I'm looking at two to three weeks. He, um, the guy I'm talking to said it'll arrive on the 18th at customs, but you know, Skyway and see how everything goes out. Because again, this this virus really kind of screwed me with the shipping and stuff. But it's I was aware of it when I did the purchases, so no, it, that's really on me. So just again, gotta hope it gets through. But that's gonna be it for you guys. Uh, this was really cool to show you guys the scooter. I know it was a bit more of me talking and stuff, but I wanted just to give you guys my overall thoughts on it. Uh, I think it's really cool. I'm looking forward to the other two coming. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, hit that bell. You know, get the newest videos coming out. You know, it's really cool on how our channel is still growing. To everyone watching, thank you guys so much for the support, for the comments. It's really cool talking to you guys. Uh, and as always, uh, thanks for watching again. And be safe out there.